Hi guys, I'm Richard Beck. This is my Langmar Systems MR1. So, I've been wanting my own personal CNC for a really, really long time. Years. I remember when the Tormach first came out. I looked at that for years and years and had my heart set on it. But then I saw Langmar Systems. And this isn't my first Langmar Systems machine. I previously owned, well, still own, a Langmar Systems Crossfire Pro. And that has paid for itself over and over and over. The thing about having your own um, personal CNC in a garage or shop is it really allows you to become the master of your future. And that's what I really love about Langmuir Systems as a company. I am not a paid Langmuir Systems affiliate. Um, I don't get any money if you buy or don't buy this machine. I don't get any kickbacks or commissions if you buy a Crossfire. I paid with the, for this with my own money, and I'm also a professional uh, industrial automation engineer. So I design machines, I design automation for a living. So I might have a little different perspective on some of these machines than other people. So this is my, you know, basic perspective. I'm gonna be doing a lot more content on this. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see future videos, in-depth content. So this is my first production part that um, I've ever ran on the Langmuir Systems MR1. So the cool thing is I was worried that this wouldn't be repeatable enough to actually do production parts. And I was wrong. Um, this part gets clamped in, pushed up, and gets a stop. And I can run the program, pull it out, put another piece of stock in, run the program, and I can do that over and over and over and over. Um, and then I can take this part and I can move it to this location and I can do this operation and I can do that over and over and over on the same part. Um, and then I can flip it over to this side and I can thread mill, which thread milling is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. If you're looking at this machine, you're thinking, well, it doesn't rigid tap. Thread milling is complicated. It's not complicated. Uh, maybe in the future I'll do a video dedicated just to thread milling. But NYCNC has a super deep dive into thread milling. That may overwhelm you, um, but it's, it's everything you can ever want to know about it. Maybe I'll do a more surface level introduction to that because you really don't need to know most of the stuff that he gets into. But overall, um, I'm going to show you thread milling on this machine, what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of like programming because that's a deep dive, but I'm just going to show you uh, a thread milling operation. All right, first thing, I'm going to show you a part I've already done. So here's a thread mill part, quarter 20. So really nice fit. And the great thing about thread milling is you can perfect it. You can make it as tight or as loose as you want. So now the thing is, can I put another part in and do that one as well? We'll see. So take my part. Put that right there up against the stop. Now I'm going to try to run this without coolant. Fingers crossed. If I break an end mill for YouTube's sake, I guess, or a thread mill, it is what it is. All right. So I shut the coolant off. See if you can get in there a little closer. I normally always run this with flood coolant, so I'm gonna give it a little splash. Actually, I'll leave the flood coolant on. We can make a mess for the video. And the great thing is this is repeatable. Um, you can run program after program after program, and it comes back to the same spot every time. It's not like a you can run one piece and as soon as you've taken it out of the mill, you know, it can't repeat. It does produce very repeatable parts. All 
All right, I'm going to go ahead. Well, I don't want to cut the video because people will say, oh, you just hand tapped it. So you can jump forward. <laughs> but I'm going to let this play in real time so you guys can see the whole thing. So that way you know there's no funny business, no tricks. We'll watch the whole thing real time. Also, um, is what this is, is a torch holder for the Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro. If you have a Crossfire Pro and you're interested in a torch holder that has a laser X and Y alignment setup, that's what this is. It's going to hold a laser right in that little hole. All right, let's check it out. Also, if you get an MR1, I highly suggest you get the, uh, the pendant. There you go. So, perfect taps. Um, I could make these tighter if I wanted, but, I mean, they're good. That's snug. Um, so, yeah, I've got these dialed in. Um, so, that's one thing. Um, it's a very capable machine. The threads look really good. Even though I ran that first one without coolant, it still looks really great. So, anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions about the MR1, leave them in the comments below. I always answer the comments. Even if you're a jerk, I'll still answer that. Um, so, yeah, give me a thumbs up. Also, that really helps me on this channel. Helps uh, tell the algorithm more people want to see this content. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell, and you'll see all of my future MR1 content um, where I go into a lot more detail on whatever you want me to. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to know about the MR1. Maybe I'll make a video about it.